welcome back to the channel guys um, it's it's dark so uh, I'm not uh, doing any sunrise or sunset I'm gonna do some uh, astrophotography there's some meteor showers I'd like to get and uh, maybe try to get some Milky Way either or if I could get one of the two will be pretty cool I'm at a uh, river and it's uh, a bit of a secret location it's uh, my brother's secret little spot so he's showing me his loca his location, his river. I won't be able to see much because we're in the dark. So we'll see if I can do any good astro images. I, I haven't done any astro in a couple years, so I don't know. We'll see if I'm uh, any good at it. You know practicing taking uh, photos of stars again it's been a while and it's not that complicated all you have to do is have a really wide aperture uh, a slow shutter speed depending on the focal length and uh, so a slow shutter speed high high so and then uh, you just uh, you manual focus a star and that's pretty much all there is to it it's not that complicated I just I don't know I felt like I had to do it again just to be sure um, I, mis I miscalculated the meteor shower. I thought there was going to be more. I saw a couple, but uh, the peak of this uh, this meteor shower is the 13th, and we're only the 5th of August. So I'm going to scrap that project, and I'm going to just uh, shoot south now instead of shooting north. I'm just going to shoot south. Try to get the Milky Way in between the trees and the river in the middle. I think the the core is visible now and the moon sets around 11 30 ish and it's around 11 o'clock right now so it should be pretty optimal in the next uh, 30 minutes so i'm going to try to set up something on this side So I finally set up my camera, I got a composition here and uh, it was a bit difficult because on the left side the trees are really really close to me and they're high and I wanted to make sure I included the whole tree and didn't cut off, cut the tree on the top. So it's, it was really hard since it's dark outside, you can't really see much and I took around like probably around 10 test shots before I I nailed the composition so now I'm not touching this camera this is staying like this and uh, I'm just waiting for the Milky Way to move into the middle of the river so it's been a couple of minutes and um, the Milky Way is still on the left but we're getting these really cool clouds they're showing up on the camera like orange and I'm really liking the they're like wispy clouds they really look cool so um, I'm just gonna keep taking shots because eventually I do want to get the Milky Way in the middle of the frame But this shot with the cloud and the Milky Way on the left. It looks really cool So I'm just gonna keep taking shots and we'll see what happens and then after all this I got to light paint these trees For the foreground just to have a bit more detail instead of just having those black uh, Underexposed trees, you know so I want to add a bit more detail into these trees. It's going to be difficult. I've only light painted a couple times so far for a couple other Astros. And I've done it a couple times now and it's hard to get 
an even light across the whole thing. So I guess it's just gonna be a lot of trial and error. So far, this seems like a really successful um, night. And I know you guys didn't see much of the area, but like I said, it's a secret location. So I have to keep this on the down low. And this is why I'm doing some uh, Milky Way photography. But it's been a really nice night, so I'll show you guys the images and uh, tell me what you guys think. differences with these shots obviously I didn't take these at the same time so the first image uh, has the clouds and then the angle of the Milky Way is different also the color of the Milky Way and the cloud shot is blue because the uh, that's what I wanted to do because the clouds were orange I kind of like the contrast of color of the blue and the orange kind of like the lighting in the back but the biggest difference was the noise in the sky and there's a lot less noise in the cloudless image that's because i use an application called secretor and what that application allows me to do is to import multiple different exposures of the same uh, composition and then secretor basically calculates all the stars in the sky and it figures out where the noise is and it gives me a noise free file a new stack image that i can edit in either lightroom or photoshop so here's the results of that stack image and you can see hopefully you can see the difference between these two images on youtube but there's absolutely no noise in this shot here i really like the results there's a bit more stars in this one because the iso was higher but yeah no i really really like the results compared to this cloud image which is only a single exposure 1600 iso so there's less stars and it's it's really noisy especially down here where the milky way is because there's more local editing and adjustments there so it adds more noise unfortunately so this uh, image is a bit noisier i do like it though because of the the clouds and that's the reason why i couldn't stack the image because of the clouds are covering this the stars so secretor would have a pretty hard time i haven't tried it but i have a feeling it, it it's not going to work so yeah this one's a bit noisy and then this image here the cloudless shot is, has a lot less noise and then if you want to put the cherry on top you do some light painting to add detail in the foreground which i did on both of these shots because if you don't do any light painting then you get something like this where all the trees are dark and it has absolutely no detail and unless that's what if that's what you're going for then that's fine but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do some light painting and add some detail into these trees. So here's a bad example of some light painting because the goal is to get nice even light. And like I said on the vlog, it was gonna take me a bit of trial and error to get it right. So this was obviously one of the first exposures and I didn't get it right. This part here is way too bright. We can barely see the trees back here. And then here is a good example of nice even light. We can actually see the trees on the other side of the river, have some detail down here. We can kind of see some tree trunks and the bridge. So it's, it's a lot better. So this is actually the exposure I use to blend uh, my sky image. So this is what exposure blending looks like in Photoshop. So I have both of my layers here opened up, my sky and then my tree layer. And then usually you would want to auto align both of the layers, but unfortunately for some reason, uh, Photoshop did a really bad job and my, the trees were way out of line. So I, I didn't do it for this image and it was, it was fine. It turned out okay, fortunately. But 
you would usually auto align your layers and then uh, add a layer mask to your top image. And then whatever image is on top, basically you just have to remember what it is you want the viewer to see from that top layer. So for instance, here uh, I have the tree layer on the top. So I want the viewer to see the trees and I would hide the sky. Uh, and then if it was the opposite, if the sky was my top layer, then I would want to reveal the sky and then hide the trees. And then what I would do is do a selection and then add a layer mask to the top layer like this. And then I would have be the best of both worlds. I would have the nice sky and then the light painted trees. And then I would do a whole editing session of this image here. So this is just a real quick, just to show you what exposure blending looks like. I'll probably do a later video, uh, a, a future video showing exactly how I do my exposure blending. But I'm pretty satisfied with both of these images and tell me which one you like best. Do you like the stack image or do you like the clouds? Back on the road and uh, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video guys. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Hope you like the images. Tell me what you guys think of this uh, secret location, Milky Way photography. So uh, until next time, guys, God bless. Were you afraid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs>